Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Monitor Template Filters video. In this video, I will show you how to use the Probe Template Editor to configure Monitor Template Filters. I will create a new template and demonstrate how to use filters to apply an alarm and a quality of service data point to a specific group of components. Here is a typical scenario where using a monitor template with filters can be useful. For this demonstration, I am using the Docker Monitor Probe to monitor a process in a Docker environment. I want to generate an alarm for my Apache containers when the process for the HTTP daemon is inactive. If you have a large Docker environment, you might want to apply a consistent level of alarming across a specific group of components. In this example, all Apache containers. You can resolve these issues by using monitor templates. Monitor templates contain filters that you can use to create divisions within groups of related components. These divisions allow you to selectively apply monitor and alarm settings. To create a monitor template, Go to the Admin Console Configuration GUI for a probe. Here we see the probe configuration GUI for the Docker Monitor probe. Click Template Editor. Here is the Template Editor window with the Docker Factory template. For this scenario, I do not need to use the predefined monitor settings for probe unified dashboards. I just want to configure alarms, so I will create a blank template. Click Options, and then select Create Template. A window appears where I can define the properties for the new template. I then submit the required information. In this example, I don't select the active checkbox. I'm doing this because if I click the Save button, I do not want to apply this template immediately to the probe configuration. Remember, this is a blank template. I must first add my filter and alarm settings before activating the template. Here is the new template. Notice that there are no pre-configured monitors or alarms in this template. Since I want to apply my alarm to all my Apache containers, I click the Filter node for Containers. Now I can define the filter criteria to specify the type of container. In my example environment, all my Apache containers have the word Apache in their label. Filters use rules to define their filter criteria. I need a rule to filter all the containers that have the word Apache in their label. Click New. I must now define the rule parameters. Here the rule for label is already selected by default. The options you can use to define the type of rule will vary between components and probes. I am selecting the condition contains because I want the filter to apply to any label that contains the word Apache. And I enter Apache for the value. Now the probe will apply the configuration settings in this template to all of my Apache containers. Be aware that all filters are evaluated every time the probe inventory changes. In this example, the component being evaluated in the probe inventory is Docker containers. As new components are discovered over time, the components will be evaluated against all existing template filters. The components that match the filter criteria will have the associated monitoring configuration applied automatically. The next step is to add an alarm for the HTTP daemon process. I select the filter for processes, select New, and now enter the parameters to specify the HTTP daemon process. In this example, the only rule type available is label, but I select the condition contains and enter the value HTTPD. This rule now applies to any processes that contain HTTPD in their label. I now have two filters defined in this template. The hierarchy of the nodes determines how the template filters are applied. In this example, the template filters are used to identify the Apache containers first, and then the HTTP daemon processes within the group of Apache containers. Now I must define the parameters for a quality of service data point monitor and an alarm. I scroll down the page to view the monitor section. Currently, the process active monitor is not included in the template and alarms are off. The monitor and alarm settings are grayed out because the monitor is not in the template. Select the Include in Template checkbox to add this monitor to the template. I can now edit the monitor and alarm settings. I scroll further down the page to view the settings for the process active monitor. I select Publish Data so that I can capture historical data for trend analysis. Since I want to view alarm data in USM, I select the Publish Alarms checkbox. A high threshold value is required. I select false because I want to generate an alarm when the process is not running. And I change the alarm message that appears in USM to monitor critical. My template configuration is complete. When I view the template summary, you can now see that the process active monitor is in the template and alarms are active. I can now activate and save this template. This template has been applied to all the Apache containers for the HTTP daemon process. An alarm is generated if the process is not running. Here I return to the probe configuration GUI. Look at this node that represents an HTTP daemon process in an Apache container. You can see that my configuration has been applied. There is now a message that the configuration is managed by my template. 
If I ever want to alter the configuration of this monitor, I can select the link in the message that will take me to the appropriate template or filter. Notice that if a monitor is managed by a template, it cannot be configured individually within the probe configuration GUI. While a monitor is managed by a template, you can only make changes to the monitor through the template. If I go to another node, you can see that this configuration has been applied to multiple Apache containers. And if I go to the node for a non-Apache container process, you can see that no configuration has been applied. For more detailed information about a specific probe, refer to the documentation on the CA Doc Ops platform. Or visit the CAUIM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.